The Thunder Bay Mosque held an open house today where members of the community were invited to visit the space and were given a brief introduction to the Islamic religion. Jess Clement reports. Over 25 people came out for the open house, many of whom had never been in a mosque before. Attendees were able to speak to mosque members and ask questions, listen to a brief introduction to Islam presented by the imam, and try foods from various Islamic countries. Mosque member Mohammed El Shafei says they really wanted to meet the community, teach them about what Islam really is, and clear up any misconceptions. We believe that the, the image of Islam introduced to do social media is not fair. So we are trying to present Islam as it is. And I think if the audience uh, ends with today with like this image, this actual image of Islam, so we are more than happy to, to deliver this message only. The Thunder Bay Masjid is the only mosque in the city. And El Shafei says while there isn't exactly a large Islamic population in the city, it is growing. You can say every week or every month, maybe one person uh, comes to our place to more of them, uh, most of them are interested to see more about Islam and even some of them uh, actually be with us here in the masjid. The event was open to all members of the community. Cynthia Cooper says she came out to meet the Islam community and learn what the religion is all about. I go to a church in the neighborhood, St. Michael and All Angels, and I figured that it's good to know our neighbors and to be inclusive of, of everybody. And, and uh, I really don't know a lot about this religion and the church, and I thought this was my opportunity to, to come and, and meet the people. And so far, uh, as I was coming in, a wonderful gentleman just answered a couple of my questions and, and uh, directed me in the right place, and uh, I've so far enjoyed it. El Shafei says they're planning on having more open houses in the future. And more information about dates and times can be found on the mosque's Facebook page. Jessica Clement, TBT News.